What's new with Punk? I did a promo tonight. He sure uh, did. We'll talk about that later. Yeah, I mean, it was... Uh, I mean, look, he, he has great delivery. I didn't think that there was anything he said in the promo uh, that was very noteworthy. I mean, it was not a noteworthy promo at all. Yeah. I he, think actually, that, the most noteworthy thing about the promo was nothing that he actually said in the promo. But after they hit his music and the show was going off the air, he looked in the camera and he smirked and he says, I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to make money. So, so and now people think he's going to go heel. Dude, I thought he was going to go heel the entire show. Because Seth is obviously a baby face. They're clearly going to Seth and CM Punk. Seth's yes, promo was all about burying CM Punk. And yeah. Punk's promo was like, I don't know, man. But he was he, he, he kissed up to the fans something fierce. I know, but he kissed up to like such a degree. that I, I, I watched it and thought, this guy's going heel sooner rather than later. That's what's happening here. I could be totally wrong. But. Um, I mean, to me, I would I would go with the flow. I mean, right now, this week, next week, I wouldn't go. Well, I don't think in the next all. week or two. I mean, they got. I mean, they if, got the, a if long the crowd time till the Royal Rumble. Yeah, there is. I mean, but to me, it's like I would I would follow the crowd. You know, if the crowd turns them, you know, obviously go with it. That was the same thing as when he came back. You know, I mean, originally that was the idea. He didn't care if they cheered or booed him, but he did care. Um, and and if they do start booing him, he'll ask to turn heel. I mean, he will, but. The thing is, is it's like, you know, who knows when that will be? It could be in a month. It could be in a year. I wouldn't rush it and just go, well, he's got to be a heel to wrestle Seth Rollins. I mean, it, it could be tough on Seth. I mean, if the crowd, he's the new shiny toy, uh, the crowd did boo Seth a couple of times too, you know, when he was doing that promo. Um, so, again, I mean, it's like, you know, listen to the crowd and make your decisions based on the crowd. Um but, I mean, yeah, it go in many, many different ways. But, yeah, when I heard the, the line, I thought, oh, they're planning on him going heel right after he's getting, like, the biggest. Like, that reaction on Saturday was gigantic. The reaction tonight was not as big, but it's not Chicago. But it was still freaking big, you know. I mean, he, um, you know, it was a lot bigger than that promo deserved. That promo was, like, people waited that whole show. And, um, I mean, I think that what they wanted was for him to say a whole bunch of really controversial things, and he did the exact opposite. You know, they didn't want that, and I, he may not have as well. Um, and, you know, the stuff to get off his chest that a lot of people wanted to hear, uh, they didn't want that on their TV, you know. Um, they, you know, and, and again, it, it, he may, you know, I don't know where his head's at. You know, obviously it's, it's in a different place, and, um, you know, a lot of people, and look, it's... A lot of people were very critical of the idea that he went back there and he said it was home and all that with all of what went down, you know, in his last 10 years and what he said in AEW and things like that. But, uh, you know, that's what happens when you, uh, you know, you you make that deal. You know, you've got to work on their terms and you got to pretty much, um, you know, you got to fit into to their thing. And, you know, I mean... There was no major negativity backstage, but it's new. You know, it's day one. And, um, you know, as far as what's going to happen long run, who knows? But right now, you know, I mean, we'll see what the rating is. They put him in hour three, which is really interesting. They had Randy Orton wrestle in hour three. So, um, obviously, they were very, very much booking this show, uh, not for that first hour with, with, with that was commercial free, um, but for to to try and get a big third hour um well it's a combo effect you're going to get a giant you're going to get a bigger than usual first hour because you have no commercials and then you try to blow up that third hour and that'll bring the entire thing up or you just throw everything into the first hour but then the show is going to collapse an hour two and hour three right and it may still collapse but at least do it gonna, this I, way i, I, I mean, mean i mean you're guaranteed a huge first hour with no commercials and putting orton and punk both in, in hour three i mean you may get two good hours out of this Oh, I expect that you, I expect hour three to do great. You know, um, I mean, the pattern has been very small hour threes. I'm really interested to see if it beats hour one. Um, I mean, normally it wouldn't even come close, but this is a, a unique circumstance. So, um, I mean, I, you know, I mean, he, you know, whatever. It should do a very, very big number, like really big number, no matter what. And um, which, again, you know, where it is in the long run is, 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 more important and how he fits in and everything like that but uh you know it's a different punk um 
It's, you know, he's not going to be, it's, it's, you know, he's not going to be making the demands that he made in, in AEW. I mean, if he does, he ain't going to last. But I don't see him doing that. I think he's, he's smart enough to know that I just think that he, as much as he hated WWE, you know, at the same time, I think that he had, he, you know, a lot, and a lot of people are like this. You know, they, they feel WWE is the major league, and, and he was, when he was in AEW, he was like a real star, and these other guys were not real stars. They were independent stars, and he was there to carry them. And, you know, that that, that attitude, um, you know, it, it created animosity. He made a lot of demands um, constantly. and But the difference is, is that Tony acquiesced to his demands. And... Um, you know, which led to a lot of problems with a lot of with a lot of people. Um, but, you know, he you know, Tony saw Punk as the biggest star he had. And um, Tony's always been very enamored with the biggest star that he has. And um, that's just how it is. And and so Punk got everything he wanted. But in the end, you know, I mean, he it didn't last because, you know, I mean, there were, you know, incident after incident after incident. It's, 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 you know, it's all known and everything like that. And the last thing was, you know, I mean, a normal person would have confronted Jack Perry and not punched him and not started a fight about it. Might have yelled at him. And if he did, if he yelled at him and nothing else, then nothing would have changed. You know, I mean, he'd still be there and he'd still be making demands and he'd be on collision every week. And, uh, you know, it'd be different. Um, whether it be better or worse, uh, who knows? We had CM Punk coming out for a promo, and he says, looks like hell froze over. Here I am standing in a WWE ring on Raw with a live mic. Said he'd been feeling more like himself of late, especially since Saturday. He said, I'd come down to two words that I was afraid to say, cause, not because they weren't true, but because I was scared of how true they actually were. It's corny and cheesy. Won't sound like CM Punk, but he says... I've changed. I thought he said I'm home. No, he said I've changed. He says, as long as you speak from the heart, you can't go wrong. And the truth is, I am home. Yeah. I don't know how I'd react or how it would go, but it made me feel like my old self. This is where I belong. It was gone 10 years. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. people I've never changed. forgot me. Yeah, I've changed. And the fans booed when he said I've changed. <laughs> well, you know, maybe they don't believe that. All over the world, people never stop chanting my name. The voices found their voice. I couldn't be more proud of you. That's why I'm back. I love you guys. I miss you guys. I missed all of this. A wise man once told me to get everything out to get everything out of this place. I had to leave and come back. And I hate to say the wise man was right. I wonder who that is. The wise man. It's Paul Heyman for fuck's sake. He looked right in the camera and said, "The wise man." He, he is pretty. You know guy. where this is going, dude. What, he's going to end up managed by Paul Heyman? Of course. Of course. And he says, I'm back for you guys because I'm home. Saturday's amazing. Tonight's amazing. Then he goes, everybody in the back. It's like a family. Re Everybody's there is happy to see me. We're happy to see you, they say. Welcome back. Welcome home. How's AJ? Oh, AJ's doing great, he says. But some people are afraid. They're afraid of the truth. They all compete to be the best in the world, but the best in the world hasn't been here in 10 years. I understand them being afraid. They're afraid I've set this bar to an unattainable level. They're afraid the most dangerous and controversial feared man in this industry just walked in the front door, and there's nothing they can do about it. The best in the world is back. He's standing in the middle of this ring, live and in living color, and his name is CM Punk. And they play his music. And that's when he looked in the camera and said, I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to make money. So he'll get cheered for a while. He'll be a babyface for a while. But, man, this brother's going heel. That's what's yeah. happening. So. Going heel, turn Roman babyface? Heyman goes with him? I mean, at some point, yeah. I mean, you could do that. But, I mean, if you've been watching this show of late, that ain't happening anytime soon. I mean, we're Should still waiting for Bailey to split from damage control, which started in, like, March or something like that. And it's December, practically. So this might be your uh, next year's WrestleMania, like 2025 is when they'll finally get to that. So he has to make it to 2025 WrestleMania. Maybe. We've got to do. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? 
If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.